There's no better way to see a country than on a motorcycle. You're riding through it, you're smelling it, you're feeling it. I ride because of the freedom it makes me feel, just like when I was a kid on a bicycle. The outdoors, the wind, the sun on your skin, and that's what keeps me getting back on the bike, to feel that freedom. You get to see such a unique landscape. Pretty special. Growing up, I was always with my dad. I was fishing, boating, riding. I grew up Saigon, which is, you know, bicycle, motorcycle, just the way of life there. And soon I came to the United States, I bought my first motorcycle in 1984. Growing up, I think it's natural. You want to do everything your dad does. Started with the hunting, then fishing, working on cars. And then he gets his motorcycle. And you're like, oh, I want to ride this thing. And I know I'm 15 and I can't, but I still borrow it. He brought it back in one piece, and that's how I learned. He was really good. As soon as I turned 16, I get my motorcycle's license, and then we're back to doing things together again. Riding motorcycles together for fun, just like we would do fishing or hunting. That's like uh, I grow the tree, now the tree have fruit. And now he better than me. When I was a kid, my dad would say, I'm his shadow. And now, with Rumi, my son, he's exactly my shadow, too. And so as I'm getting older, I'm like, wow, this is a really special thing. This is my grandpa, and then my dad, and me have this generational, beautiful dad relationship. Seeing Corey right in front of me, leading me, made me so happy. Seeing my dad behind me, it, it just brings me back to childhood. It's just such a special thing to see him supporting me. And then one day, me be behind Rumi, teaching him how to ride, riding with him, and then him getting better, and then carrying over that tradition. 